got to Cardiff. For us, that was another step on, on the ladder, uh, just moving slowly but, but carefully upwards. And um, it was a big objective to us to get to Cardiff one day. And to, to actually get there was what we hoped for, what we'd uh, achieved, and we were very pleased at, at, at doing it. Our lads uh, were fantastic, the support, the town. I mean, 16,000 people to go down there. We had 10,000 10, went to Sunderland to increase that by 50%. I think a lot of people from the northeast decided to have a day out. I'm sure they enjoyed it. We did. Uh, I sat when the ground was empty and had a look at it. And just to think that Hartlepool was coming out onto a stage like that, um, I, I, we were very proud. Sheffield Wednesday might have been the big club with the big support, but Hartlepool fans were just bursting with pride. Their team never let them down for a moment. What a day for caretaker manager Martin Scott. Peacock looks for Rowcastle. It's a good ball in there, and John Paul McGovern has scored for Sheffield Wednesday, right on the brink of half time. He's looking for Porter from it. Oh, we've got to flick back. Struggling with injury. John and he's going off here to be replaced by John Daly. <laughs> Daly just on the scene, gets his head to it. And Harley Paul are in raptures. Well, managers live and die by their substitutions sometimes, and what a substitution this has been. But now it's all turned around, and this is Adam Boyd. And that's only just why. Govan's cross. Talbot has a stab. Is he still going to get there? He was pulled back by Westwood. It's a penalty. Well, there's certainly going to be contact there, but Craddock and Westwood live it. Steve McLean, who they thought would miss the rest of the season, plays a crucial part in it by scoring the goal that draws Wednesday level. Pools have been less than 10 minutes away from the championship. Now a man short, the odds were cruelly stacked against them as they prepared for extra time. Nelson. Trouble from the play, but it's fallen to Glenn Whelan. And he goes on Whelan! Yes! Sheffield Wednesday heading in the right direction now. Is Whelan's goal enough to take them all the way to the championship? Nelson to the right of them. But it's Gavin Strachan against the wall. is the indicated stoppage time. They could finish it here anyway. It's Drew Torbett. And the youngest man on the pitch at 18 years of age has Sheffield Wednesday heading for the championship. We were outstanding. I thought they, from an entertainment point of view, it was a great game to watch. Great game. Two sets of players who were really showed a lot of commitment. Things didn't go for us today. Injuries, sending off penalty uh, but that's the way football goes but tell you what we'll walk out of this stadium tonight we'll, we'll be we'll be proud of them players out there I haven't seen it yet myself on the telly but everyone's saying that uh, there wasn't much in it and uh, to send them off as well you know it was just a double blow for us who were nine minutes away from being promoted you know and um, that's hard to take that, that, that little incident like that uh, not wrecked our dreams but uh, went a long way towards it yeah it's horrible like you know to lose here it's, it's, it's devastating you know I think uh, you can see by all the lads' reactions at the end of the game, it's, it's absolutely horrible, but fair play to all the fans, you know, they just cheered us off the pitch and you know, I'm just delighted that they backed us all the way. To lose a goal is uh, hard enough, but to lose a man as well, especially when he went into extra time when we, uh, we needed all the energy we could have, but um, these things happen in football. Great season, overachieved yet again, gone one step further than last season, which is a great achievement. 
the club's moving forward. Uh, the backing the chairman's give us is, is, is different class. Uh, we'll get the players up, we'll have a drink together with the families upstairs, we'll be together, we'll enjoy the summer and we'll come back a bigger, stronger, better, better squad next season. The players, they knew what they had to do and just needed that little bit of encouragement and uh, the respect they had for Martin already. So Martin did a fantastic job for us.